Welcome to Telluride, Colorado, where adventure and charm awaits in the majestic peaks of the Rocky Mountains. The air is crisp, the scenery is beautiful, and the possibilities are endless. I'm Frankie, and in this guide, I'm going to be sharing with you all of the best things to do, see, and eat while you are here. Let's get started. If you're in search for the perfect place to stay or you've already booked your stay at our beautiful home here, please make sure to check out our Wander Telluride Falls house tour ahead of your upcoming trip. Wander Telluride Falls is a jaw-dropping modern mountain home with four bedrooms, five bathrooms, a hot tub, and a fitness center, promising a luxurious and exciting mountain escape. But there is a ton to do and see here, so come on, let's get to the travel guide. Designated as a historic landmark district in 1961, Telluride, formerly a mining town, is not only a year-round destination known for its skiing and hiking, but is also known for its beautiful Victorian-era homes, clapboard storefronts, and historic buildings, all housing boutiques, restaurants, and hotels. In the winter, Telluride offers world-class skiing and snowboarding with fresh snow covering the mountains throughout the season into the spring. There's also a lot of other amazing winter activities such as snowshoeing, fat bike, Hiking, ice skating, and even ice climbing. And in the summer, Telluride is known for its full schedule of festivals, such as the Telluride Bluegrass Festival, the Telluride Jazz Festival, and the Telluride Film Festival, as well as unique events such as the Telluride Balloon Festival. Without snow covering these mountains, Telluride turns into a top hiking and biking destination. Are you ready to explore? Let's go! No trip to Telluride is complete without a ride on the gondola. This is the first and only free public transportation system of its kind in the United States. The towns of Telluride and Mountain Village are linked by a 13 minute ride on this free gondola. You can access this here right in the town of Telluride at the Telluride station. It takes you to two other stations until you end up to Mountain Village. This ride was absolutely beautiful. You can see the snow-capped mountains, forests, and aerial views of both towns. These carts also have have equipment racks for all of your skis, snowboards, and your bikes. We made it here to Bridal Veil Falls. Wow, check out this beauty right behind me. This is so majestic. This is Colorado's highest free falling waterfall. And this is listed in the National Register of Historic Places. You can access this waterfall through a brief one mile hike up, or there's even a road that you can drive up here as well. Throughout that hike, you're gonna go through forests. There's two other waterfalls you'll see, so you'll have a beautiful scenic view on the way up here. If you're gonna do it in the winter, definitely have some great snow boots on. This is most famous for its frozen beauty in the winter, as you can see behind me right now. And then in the summer, this is just free falling water down this cliffside here. You definitely have to come see this beautiful waterfall on your trip to Telluride. And not to mention, this is super close to our Wander House, only about one mile down the road. Bear Creek Trail is Telluride's most popular trail due to its accessibility and beautiful waterfall. This is a very wide, easy trail, well-traveled by hikers and bikers, as well as backcountry skiers, snowshoers, and fat bikers in the wintertime. This trail is literally steps from downtown, so if you're in town and you're craving a beautiful walk through nature, I definitely recommend coming to check out this trail. Shopping here in Telluride is perfect for anyone looking for some unique handcrafted treasures. The town's charming main street here is just filled with eclectic boutiques and art galleries, offering everything from handcrafted jewelry to even custom designed outdoor gear. The streets are just filled with all kinds of different shops here and there is truly something for everyone. The food scene in Telluride is as exciting and diverse as a downhill ski run. From the cozy mountain cafes to the upscale gourmet delights, there's enough dining options for everyone here. And one thing you'll notice as you're walking along here is you won't find your typical fast food restaurants or chain stores. Telluride has remained loyal to its local businesses, staying true to its small town roots and supporting the growth of original restaurants. Here are a few places we recommend dining at during your stay. Smuggler Union Restaurant and Brewery is more than a brewery serving award-winning house-made beers. It's also a restaurant with a commitment to farm-to-table dining. They had about 20 beers on tap with flights available to taste a variety. We got the Face Down Brown from Telluride Brewing Company and the in-house brew Farewell Spaceman, both perfect for the cold winter weather. The jumbo chicken wings with the caramel buffalo glaze was absolutely incredible. The Smokehouse Bacon Burger was so juicy and fresh and a great pair with a beer. We got the Colorado 
Colorado elk bolognese that beautifully covered a large dish of pasta topped with mascarpone. Oh yes, this was so tasty and savory. This spot was incredibly warm and cozy and amazing to taste the local brews and escape the cold. The Coffee Cowboy is a unique coffee shop nestled in the San Juan Mountains of Telluride in what was once an old horse trailer. They have an array of coffee drinks from traditional macchiatos to unique Coffee Cowboy specialty drinks such as the Annie Oakley and the Butch Cassidy. This was perfect for a crisp winter morning. We got their special latte, the Cinebliss Latte, which was so tasty. The coffee here is definitely worth a visit. You will not be disappointed. This is also right next to the Telluride Gondola, which is Great to grab a drink before or after your ride. The Butcher and the Baker is the go-to breakfast spot. From breakfast burritos to a variety of breakfast sandwiches to traditional breakfast staples like oatmeal or yogurt, what's really impressive is that it's owned and operated by longtime Telluride local Megan Osala. The bakery and cafe specializes in handcrafted, fresh, local, and sustainably harvested cuisine. Also, all of their breads and pastries are made in-house as well. The Daymaker sandwich that had farm fresh eggs, cheddar cheese, sausage, homemade pepper jelly, and and their house-made English muffin was delightful to start the morning. The zucchini and kale breakfast sandwich was just as tasty. Okay, this is the breakfast spot here in Telluride. You have to come here if you are craving a fresh mountain breakfast. For a wonderful lunch, we went to Esperanza's here in Telluride, located right on the main street. This was a wonderful place to go get fresh, authentic Mexican cuisine while in Colorado. They serve you house-made tortilla chips and salsas to begin your meal, already giving a taste of their authentic cuisine. The tequila salad was amazing if you want fresh, crisp vegetables with a nice layer of seasoned chicken topped with a vinaigrette. The chimichanga had a beautifully crunchy flour tortilla served perfectly with rice and beans. Definitely come here if you have a craving for Mexican food while you're in Telluride or you just want a nice margarita. You'll find a touch of Italy in Telluride at Rustico Ristorante. This place was the perfect spot to cozy up and have a romantic, elegant dinner. The Verza e Fungi was a thin sliced cabbage salad with wild selected mushrooms and pine nuts. Due to Rustico having the only authentic Italian pizza oven in Telluride, we had to get the pizza Rustico that had a marinara sauce, mozzarella, bruschetta, ricotta, and mushrooms, as well as the pizza Bianco del Rotisserie that was an olive oil base pizza with rotisserie chicken, roasted garlic, and four cheeses. These were both decadent and had so much flavor, leaving me wanting more. This restaurant definitely had authentic Italian cuisine served in a cozy ambiance that will warm your heart. Well, thanks for joining me here at Wander Telluride Falls. Please don't hesitate to contact our Wander Concierge anytime during your trip to enhance your vacation. And don't forget to tag at Wander in any photos or videos you take during your trip so we can see all of the fun you had here in Telluride. We can't wait to welcome you. Enjoy.